Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Linda. Hello, Mum. Hello, How are you? Roddy. That's Dad. How are things, sir? Dad? This I just came to borrow some bread, if that's okay. Here I have a recently unopened loaf of bread. Now, I'd like, um... Well, you, the one on the diet. I'd like you to pick a slice of white Vienna. Any slice of white Vienna. Go on, pick a slice of white Vienna. Pick a... Sli You're not going to be in it, are you? You know, I could, uh, I could stand here all night doing this and he'd never, ever pick a slice of white Vienna. And do you know why? Because he's deaf. <laughs> Can't hear a word I'm saying. Can you, Ludwig? Deaf as a dodo. And do you know why he's deaf? Because he's Beethoven, the great composer. Of course, he won't have a bar of music now. Won't have a bar of music now, get it? Bar of music, won't have a bar. Now listen, if I've got to explain every sophisticated witticism, <laughs> we'll be here all night. Now, Beethoven was born in 1770, and as a result of that, he's dead. But <laughs> before, before, before he died, Beethoven looked like... <laughs> I've done about... <laughs> No, only joking. I bet they went white in the ABC legal department then. <laughs> um, be before, come on, before he died, Beethoven looked like this. And before he looked like this, he looked like this. Isn't he beautiful? <laughs> and somewhere between there and there, Beethoven wrote some of the world's great music. Every tune and evergreen. Look at this, he got this badge here for best first year composer. <laughs> this, one, this one here is for best sonata. This is for best fifth symphony. Best, <laughs> best piano concert. He, he won a lot of, oh look, incidentally, uh, for anybody with a maternal turn of mind, uh, this baby photo is from the, uh, the woman's, <gasps> Lady die. <laughs> oh, no, it's just I can't stand it. I mean, the woman's on the cover of every magazine in the non-communist world. I mean, what's she ever done? I mean, she comes out here with hubby. And what do they do? They open things. They open things like fridges and champagne. And they smile a lot and shake hands. I mean, they're nothing more than royal Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Prince, Prince William... The future King of England, their boy Bill, have you seen him? He's a baby. <laughs> a baby. I mean, how can they tell if a baby is going to be a good king? Well, look, I've got friends. I'm one of I've got friends, and they've got a baby. And I'm no judge of horse flesh, but this baby looks to me like he could shape up to be a pretty good king. That's the trouble with the monarchy. I mean, how do you know you're getting the best king for the job? Now, if I sound bitter and twisted about this, it's because... I am the real Prince Charles. No, no, no. Now, I haven't told people this before, but... See, we were actually... Charles and I were born on the same day in 1948, and if that isn't coincidence enough, even now, we're still the same age. <laughs> my, um, My hospital records, which were destroyed in a fire tomorrow... Um, <laughs> clearly show that there was a Mrs Windsor who had a baby in the same ward as my mother and that baby was a boy. Now I have a statutory declaration from the night nurse which clearly shows that she feels that she could have in her drunken stupor... Um... <laughs> oh look at... Hey, 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 hey. Well listen, I lost the stat deck but this is, this is the big news. Tonight we start the new Beat the Champ competition. I'm actually the champ. And our first contestant in Beat the Champ tonight is Senator John Button of Canberra. And he's coming in. So listen, uh, Senator John, if you'd like to come in now to play Beat the Champ. Incidentally, if Senator John does in fact beat the champ, he will win the ABC. OK, so we're ready to go now, Senator John. And he's after you. OK, you, fine, OK. You, well, you're a politician. This shouldn't be too hard. Uh, hello, hello, Johnny. And there it is! I won! I beat a politician! I beat Senator John Button! Once again, the ABC is saved from undue influence! Hooray! <laughs>